This is the arugula, arugula, and it grows. They call it rocket in some places, but it's really peppery. It's almost like wasabi or like a horseradish. Super, super intense. This was planted early, early in the fall, and all these new little guys coming out here. So we have a couple of big, huge tires of this. It's so great. It's super, super intense. It's really, really good with in salads or in wraps or on sandwiches. Put it in a couple of smoothies. We're going to take it and we're going to put it in a, in a smorgasbord, which will have all different kinds of things like goat cheeses and, and gorgonzola cheeses and nuts and fruits. Yum. So there's a bundle. Mm, yeah. Okay, show us something else. What this else do we got? This is Swiss chard. Oh. Although it's not looking really great right now. This was Swiss chard that was planted last last fall, so it made it all the way through the winter and into the spring. Excellent. So it's about had been picked a lot. Can we try a piece? Yeah, let's take this one. Eat a smaller, tender one. Excellent. It's one of my favorites. It sort of tastes like you know, when it's tender stage, when it's really growing fresh and, and new for the season. It's almost like butter. It's so, so mm, soft Real the smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As they get bigger like this, we generally cook them or use a, a rub on them to soften them up. And... They get a little rougher when they're bigger? Yeah. And there's a little basket of herbs. Mm. All the mint here. Yeah, chocolate mint, ginger mint, apple mint, spearmint, peppermint. So this is it everybody, the magical, wonderful Garden of Eden. More arugula, lettuce, cress, beets, radishes, kale, mustard greens, more mustard greens, there's more radishes, and first lane. Oh yeah, let's look at the purslane before. Oh, and the spinach too. Yeah, the spinach too. Want to try this one? Mm-hmm. Of course. Mm. Divine. Very tasty. Mm, you like it? Mm-hmm. So good. Mm-hmm. Nice aftertaste too. It's coming right? through now. It's sort of tender on the tongue, even though it's sort of potent. Mm-hmm. Gentle on the tongue. Agreed. Yeah, we'll mix this in a green and with all the other greens today. And the other greens are probably within a week or so, they'll be big enough to eat. They grow really fast, especially with the rain that we've had. We just turned loose um, about 4,500 ladybugs. So you did turn those ladybugs yeah, loose? I did. Excellent. But that was fun. Yeah, it was. They're just so appreciative here in the night of them. Incredible. So you had a midnight ladybug party? Yeah, actually, I've turned loose in the full moon. A moonlight ladybug yeah, party. I was on the night of the full moon, so I came back after the rain and stood under the full moon and turned loose the ladybugs. So it doesn't perfect. get sweeter than that, does it? Oh God, so perfect. It just stays sweet out here, doesn't it? <laughs> You're like yeah, a little like garden so fairy. Yeah. I love it here. This is my meal. This is, what I, this is the way I eat my dinner. Isn't that great? <laughs> Super food. I think for everybody else, but I eat mine here. <laughs> That's great. What about Super behind food. you? What is that? Isn't that the sweet potato leaf right back there? Oh, this one right here? Uh-huh. Yeah, this is a sweet potato leaf, and we also eat these. That whole field right there is growing full of sweet potatoes. Ooh. One of the sweet potatoes that we pulled out of the garden was 37 inches long. It's like this. And we baked it with We're touching them. hands in our shadows. Yeah. How beautiful. <laughs> okay. I can soak it out. One more time. There it is. Here, let me hand you the. Ooh, I'll hand you the greens. <laughs> beautiful. Now that is art. Yeah. Art upon art you upon know, art. Make sandwiches like take a, a sweet potato green and then put one of these in there. Then put a basil leaf or a mint leaf and roll them all up. Put a little bit of sprinkle of love. Mmm. -hmm. So good. So every bite is a new combination of different kinds of greens different textures. Mmm, so good. Every bite's a new experience. Alright, can we go look at the the uh, spinach? Mm -hmm. And what's that other, like? Purslane. Purslane. Yeah. Yes. 
That purslane is actually a wild food. It grows wild also, like a dandelion. Yeah, it does. And it is a delicious food. I guess that makes it a weed, I'm not sure. That does, um, you know, it's so funny the things we call weeds, and there's so many weeds, like dandelions, and mm -hmm. thistle, and all of that, it can actually eat, it's so beautiful and awesome. Yes, yes. Here we, have. we need to make mid, uh, raw food, uh, wild food videos. Mm, yeah. That'd be sweet. So this is Malabar spinach. And this is the only spinach that I've known that will grow during the summer. The rest of them are all bolt and you know, when it gets too hot they all just go to seed. But this one lives all the way through the summer. It really loves the heat. It's super, super, super durable. Thank you so much. This one, by the way, is my favorite. I could pretty much sit here and eat this whole plant today, but I have stopped myself. It is the only I've plant only had a few. And this one is purslane. Purslane. Probably like a lot. It has omega fatty acids in it. Mm-hmm. It suits very well with my taste buds. It's yeah. very juicy. Yeah, it just feels so good in your stomach too. It's simple. And this one's been growing all summer long. This is the second round. The rest of them we've all already picked and harvested the seeds. So these will, these are coming back to see how they do in the wintertime. We've never, we've never grown these in the wintertime before. So, all right. Well, thank you for sharing your love with us. Mm, indeed. Blessing.